my Lord and my God, I firmly believe that you are here, that you see me, that you hear me. I adore you with profound reverence. I ask your pardon for my sins and the grace to make this time of prayer fruitful. My Immaculate Mother, Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me. A number of years ago when I was in school in Rome, I at a last minute decided to come home and see my family for the Christmas break. And I remember uh, I got the, the best flight I could, but it turned out that I would be flying in basically into a massive snowstorm. And so I called my parents and I said that I would be home later. You know, I would stay in a hotel and that would find a way to, to get home sometime after that. And they would hear none of that. And so they insisted on driving to the airport to pick me up, even in the midst of this pretty significant snowstorm, so that I'd been away from my home for a good six or eight months at that point, and wouldn't be one one more day. It was they were going to get me home that night. And so I remember driving home through this snowstorm, and I wasn't even driving; I was in the passenger seat. And just as we were as we were going down the highway, it was incredibly treacherous. There was no other cars on the road. It was a very dark stretch of the highway. And we could barely see the, the lines in the road or the guardrails. It, it probably was a bit imprudent, but we, we made it, uh, survived. But it was very treacherous uh, there for a little while because there was no ability to, to see the road ahead or even to have another car right in front of us that we could just follow someone else's taillights and just kind of go where they're going to be sure that we're staying on the road, staying in a lane. Well, we did eventually get home safe. I think this trailblazing down the highway can give us a deeper appreciation of the apostle we celebrate today, St. Andrew. He was one of the very first apostles. And he was very much this type of a trailblazer. Maybe even some of the other apostles were able to just look at Andrew or John or Peter or James or Philip, Matthew, and say like, okay, we can do we can do what they do. They've learned how to be apostles. They've been at it a few months more, so we can just follow their example. But St. Andrew didn't have that. He He was the trailblazer. He didn't have road markers or street signs or guardrails. Jesus, you you called St. Andrew, and he was there right from the very beginning of your public ministry. And he had to trust, even when there was no preset path or there was nobody else to follow. He wasn't driving. Jesus, you're driving. You're always the one who's in the lead. But Andrew had to trust that going down this uncharted territory with you in the driver's seat, that he could trust you and that he would follow where you would go. Similarly, when you called him and his brother, Simon Peter, to leave their nets, leave the boat, and come and follow you, that you would make them fishers of men, what, what does that even mean? We hear that today and we're like, oh, okay, fishers of men, yeah, that's, that's apostolate. That's, that's to be apostles. But I don't know if that phrase appears anywhere before Jesus, you said it, to Peter and Andrew. So it's, well, what does that even mean? What does it mean to be, to be a fisher of men? And they had to trust you, Jesus. Andrew has to be this trailblazer trusting you with this total confidence. And we can learn that from him today. Maybe where we are, we can look always to the examples of the saints. We can always look to the examples of those around us. But maybe there's some unique circumstance that we have to be a trailblazer, that we have to go down an uncharted road with you. And Jesus, it just requires us to trust you, that we have to be willing to put everything into your hands. You're the driver and we're the passenger. There's a sign on the church uh, down the road from my church, and 
it was always very clever. I would love driving by it. And it just simply said, if Jesus is your co-pilot, then switch seats. If Jesus is your co-pilot, switch seats. Jesus, you need to be the pilot. You have to be the one in the driver's seat. And we have to be willing to trust you, even when the path is untrod, or we can't see clearly where it's going to lead. Jesus, you call us, you invite us to trust you and to just put everything into your hands. Even if we don't know all the details, we can put things in your hands and you'll do incredible, miraculous things. St. Andrew also shows up midway through the gospel, according to St. John, when there's the huge crowd of people and they need something to eat. And Jesus, he, you're testing the apostles. You're, you're trying to draw out of them what you're looking for. So you test poor Philip. Philip, how are we going to get enough food? How are we possibly going to get all these people to have something to eat? And I'd be like, I don't know, Jesus. I, I didn't realize it was our job to feed them. I thought we were just preaching. Uh, but Jesus puts it on them. You're, we're going to feed them. How are we going to do it, Philip? And Andrew, out of the blue, just says, here's what we have. I don't know what's going to happen with it, but there's a lad here with five barley loaves and two fish. <laughs> what is this among so many? I have no idea what we can do with this, but Jesus, if we put it in your hands, if we give it to you, then maybe you can do something with it. More than maybe. Jesus, if we give you the little that we have, you can definitely do something with it. This is what St. Andrew, our friend whose feast day we celebrate today, this is what he teaches us. This is the example that he can be for us. That even when the path is uncharted, even when we don't know what's going to happen or we may be unsure, that Jesus, if we just give everything over to you, if we totally trust you, we let you be in the driver's seat, well, then we'll arrive safely, that we will be fruitful. Our apostolate will be fruitful. And we shouldn't be afraid of being creative in those times when there's uncharted territory. Oh, there's no saint that's ever been in a situation exactly like mine. No, maybe there hasn't been. But I'm here. Here I am. Ecce ego, quia vocasti me. Behold, here I am. You've called me. You've called me, Jesus, and here I am. This feast of St. Andrew, November 30th, is also the beginning of the novena in preparation for the Immaculate Conception of Our Mother, Our Lady. And Mary was the total trailblazer. Again, always with Jesus in the driver's seat, always at the direction of the Holy Spirit. But her Immaculate Conception marks the beginning of something totally new, totally uncharted territory, that there's no one else to look to. And so she needs this total reliance on God. She needs to totally trust that when the angel delivers this message to her, that she's going to be the mother of God, something completely otherwise unheard of, that she's going to trust. And who knows what that will look like, but she trusted. Mary can teach us this. And so today we should really begin this time of novena. And novena is not just about, you know, rambling off a lot of prayers. It's not about just getting through all kinds of litanies and extra decades of the rosary. Those can be good things when they're piously done, but a novena should just be a, a more intentional time over these nine days where we entrust ourselves more into the hands of our mother so she could teach us how to be this trailblazer like St. Andrew. She can inspire us by her example. And it should be marked by something just very practical. It could be a great idea today to just pick one practical way that we're going to honor Our Lady in these days, one practical prayer that we can say, maybe one practical offering that we can make, one small little sacrifice so that we can be preparing to celebrate Our Lady's feast day. And so this is who we're called to be. St. Andrew shows us this and Our Lady preeminently shows it, that we put everything in the hands of Jesus. And even when we're called to be those trailblazers and the road isn't clear, Jesus gets us safely to our destination. He is our sure pilot and guide. He's our example and our friend. And today he called St. Andrew and as well prepared our mother for these great marvels of holiness.
I thank you, my God, for the good resolutions, affections, and inspirations which you have communicated to me in this meditation. I ask your help in putting them into effect. My Immaculate Mother, St. Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me.